I just want to show you who he was hanging around with there. Okay, who's uh, where's he? Where's is that the RNC or the DNC? Why isn't he hanging around any Republicans? Well, I mean, he isn't even hanging around weak need Republicans like the Bushes. He's hanging around with Hillary Clinton. All right, switch to the next one. Um, there he is with uh, with Barack Obama. There you go, Barack Obama. Where, where's his videos with Republicans? Where's his where where's his videos with high ranking Republicans? Uh, none none to be found. Zero. He didn't hang around with them at all. Go to the next one for me. And there he is, of course, on Jimmy Kimmel. A, n- a known propagandist for the Democratic Party. So why did they turn on him? For two reasons. For two reasons. And then I'll stop talking. Two reasons why he turned on them. Because he, it wasn't just people in the business, the music business, that were being taped at his house. It wasn't just them. There was all of, also politicians at his freakout parties. So now, just like with Epstein, he is now no longer politically viable for them. He is no longer politically expedient for them. He is what's called a political liability for them. In an election year, and maybe he tried to leverage the wrong person or tried to leverage the wrong person to get the wrong position. So now they're shutting him down. He is a criminal. Everything that that he has been accused of Innocent until proven guilty. There is enough evidence to at least do a capius against them, a probable cause affidavit against them. But it is very politically, so that's reason number one, is that he is now a political liability. And then reason number two, to pull the trigger now, is because of the exposure of Ryan Routh. They need a different story other than Ryan Routh because Ryan Routh is, is... absolutely undeniably a CIA deep state cutout assassin. All right, go, go to the next one for me. The tweet, Shadow of Ezra tweet. Comedian, follow Shadow of Ezra, follows nobody. He's followed by like two, 300,000 people. Comedian Eddie Griffin claims that Diddy is being sacrificed by powerful forces. He suggests that the raids on Diddy's on, on Diddy were orchestrated by industry giants like Universal Music Group, Clive Davis, uh, Lucien Grange, who allegedly conspired to seize blackmail tapes Diddy had on them. See? And who are all those? I guarantee you, I can almost guarantee you who's, who owns Universal Music. I can guarantee it's BlackRock. I mean, I can guarantee it. Ty, is, is maybe, there may be layers of deniability, but I guarantee you tied heavily to Democratic Party causes. According to Griffin, these figures leverage their connections with the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security run by Alejandro Mayorkas to confiscate incriminating evidence. It's all a cover-up for two reasons. He's a political liability to Democratic Party candidates and they want to make sure that they have a new story. I'm surprised we didn't have a mass shooting today because that's the other thing that I like to orchestrate. The deep state, the global cabal. So the two reasons are he is now a political liability and they need a cover story to take the pressure off of the Ryan Routh story. That's the purpose of it.